so I was at work, got on the old marketplace and fucking found a turbo forest that looks exactly the same as what I've already got. A thousand bucks. So I'm gonna go pick it up today. Fucking yeah. Engine swap time and a couple other goodies. They got a uh, JDM spoiler for it as well. So that'll be fucking good. See you guys when I fucking get there. Gotta get the dog. Come take me This is the next day because it was raining pretty heavy. It's still raining now, but here is the weapon. It has 17 inch low profile all terrains for some reason. Here's the EJ25 that will be going in the other one. change the bonnet over this afternoon and that door as you can tell because it's uh, dirty and that one's not and then we've got the scoop it's looking pretty good but um, this car is an XT Luxury so it has all these black pieces uh, sunroof obviously it's broken but that's okay so all the, basically all the fancy pieces like the steering wheel these doors have leather trim so basically anything that's fancy is going on that car and all wiring from the front of the car to the back of the car is going to be pulled out and dropped straight in that so essentially i'm just giving this written off car a new body a lift and some tires essentially because like honestly this car is really pretty clean for what it is I've got a spoiler there as well a few spare parts in the back and all the rest of this I'll be putting in the trailer so it'll be nice and fancy and uh, yeah so since pulling the donor car apart I've got all its dash and shit out um, it just so happens that it has this really nice Momo wheel which I cleaned up and it looks pretty good so it's gonna go in here for now until I figure out what the fuck's going on with the rest of it because I want to get this done relatively soon but obviously not fucking straight away because it's been flooding and now I'm stuck home so what you're going to do is remove the two torque screws located either side of the steering wheel that hold the airbag in place and then you're going to pull the airbag out now I probably should have the battery disconnected of the car but What's the worst that can happen? Now the screws have been backed out, just remove your airbag and disconnect it. Using a screwdriver, pull that out. And there's your airbag. Then from here, There'll be a 17 millimeter. Now, just gotta crack that. 
best trick for this is to turn the car off, pull the key out, and then get the wheel stuck on the steering lock. And you're just gonna grab your and just do that. Undo the nut a couple turns, but leave it on there. Pop the key back in. Don't do the steering lock. Bring it into the middle. And then you're going to hit either side to nudge it loose. And then it should just come off. If you've done it correctly. Oh, and make sure to unplug that green connector from the clock spring or else you will break the clock spring. There you go. So I'm going to grab our new wheel. Just so happens the car's wired for the steering wheel controls, even though they're not going to work with my aftermarket radio. Just going to drop that right on. And then do the reverse of everything we just did. <laughs> 